book lovers of the internet welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here make sure to subscribe because for every subscriber i get a new subscriber and they also read a page from a book of my choice so it is the 3rd of july which means that june is over and um today i will be participating in the mid-year book freak out tag 2024 i remember doing this a couple of years ago i have the questions online in another tab here and I will be leaving the link in the description for anybody who wants to participate as well. Uh, Jesse the Reader uploaded this video yesterday or two days ago, I believe. And it's pretty cool that we had the same idea. But I will be sharing my thoughts with regard to this challenge or book tag rather. I wasn't tagged by anybody, but I still think that it's interesting to reflect on the first six months of 2024 and... Think about how much I've read and how much I have yet to read. So the first question is, the, what is the best book that you've read so far in 2024? Um, there are two books uh, for this question, which I would love to use to reply to. So the first one is a fiction book by Lee Bardugo called Six of Crows. I made a video review of this, one of the greatest fantasy books I've ever read. Um, very interesting, especially good for beginners, I would say. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend. At the moment, I am reading Crooked Kingdom, uh, which is the sequel to Six of Crows, and it's pretty good so far as well. Next is a non-fiction book by Jeanette McCurdy called I'm Glad My Mom Died. Um, this was very thought-provoking, saddening, and eye-opening, and I would recommend this one as well. Um, both are brilliant in their own way. So the second question is, what is the best sequel you've read so far in 2023? Uh, for this one, I am going to go with Percy Jackson and the Chalice of the Gods by Rick Riordan. I've been hyping up Rick Riordan for a very long time on my channel, and uh, he is certainly one of my favorite authors of all time. This was a brilliant sequel, and I look forward to Volume 7 of Percy Jackson. Anything having to do with this guy, I would certainly recommend. Question 3 is, I think there are 15 in total. Uh, the third one is, what is a new release you haven't yet read but want to? Uh, for this one, I chose The Fraud by Zadie Smith. This one is a recommendation by a university professor of mine, and I haven't yet read it. It was released earlier this year, I believe, and I do look forward to it, especially because it has very short chapters, which I am occasionally a fan of since I love quick reads. Next is the most anticipated release for the second half of 2023. There are many books I look forward to buying and reading, but probably one of the books which I am most looking forward to is The Book of Bill by Alex Hirsch. So as you might know, I am a fan of Gravity Falls, and I read the Journal 3 uh, book when it was published many years ago. I read it again and again and again, and The Book of Bill is another book by the same author set in the same universe, and told from the perspective of the antagonist, um, Bill Cipher. And I look forward to that. It will be published in about a month, maybe three weeks. So I will definitely be reviewing that on my channel. Next is, what was the biggest disappointment? For me, the biggest disappointment so far this year has been Colleen Hoover's It Starts With Us, which should not come as a big surprise. This is not to say that It Ends With Us was... A horrible book by any means in fact i think it was rather pleasant overall but this was colleen hoover's very obvious attempt at milking the cash cow and it was so pointless i felt as though i was wasting my time reading it and that is why i think of it as quite a disappointment so the next question question seven is who is your new favorite author for this one Actually, I think I missed out on a question. First, we have the biggest surprise. I think for this one, I am going to pick Tender is the Flesh by Agustina Basterica. Um, this one was quite a surprise because of how blatantly she spoke about cannibalism and how she tried to uh, depict her message. And she didn't really think twice about making it horrible, even though it was very well written, very well translated. And it's all so gory, so memorable, and I still think about it to this day, whenever I eat meat or something to that degree. Um, next is the new favorite author question, number seven. I think for this one I would have no choice but to pick Brandon Sanderson. I learned about this guy a couple of months ago, 
and I can't really put his books down. I think he has a brilliant and very unique way of writing fantasy. And by the end of the year, I certainly want to read as much of him as possible. I would certainly recommend him. And Lee Bardugo is also a relatively new favorite of mine. So have Brandon Sanderson and Lee Bardugo. Next is newest fictional crush. So Hermione from Harry Potter has always been a bit of a crush of mine because of her smarts. But for this question, I suppose that I could also pick Annabeth from the Percy Jackson series. Of course, I would never uh, disrespect Percy Jackson by saying anything against Annabeth or saying anything having to do with the romance uh, with regard to Annabeth. Um, but yeah, I think she is definitely one of my uh, newest fictional crushes, considering how clever she is and um, how she always seems to save Percy and how he usually reciprocates that as well. It's a very good dynamic between them and Annabeth is just brilliant overall. I love reading about her. My newest favorite character, probably Kaz Brecker from Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, but also Kelsier from the Mistborn trilogy. I have yet to figure out what his character is like, but he is very promising so far. Next is question 10, a book that made you cry. So I don't really have emotions anymore, um, so I don't really cry or feel anything whenever I read anymore. But a book which did make me rather emotional was Sweet Bean Paste by Durian Sukagawa. I would certainly recommend this one. Um, the characters are developed very well, and what happens towards the end, I mean, there are some emotional attachment issues you might face, and then it will eventually make you cry if you're that much of a sensitive person. Next is question 11. In the link I will put in the description, it is question 10, there is a bit of a mistake, but what is a book that made you happy? For this one I picked Wonka, um, which I also made a video review of. Um, this one just made me happy overall, even I don't really feel anything when I'm breathing, as I just mentioned. I also really enjoyed the movie, and I would recommend it to anybody, very easy read, and um, overall just a fun time with Timothy Chalamet and everything. Um, next, we have favorite book to movie adaptation you've seen so far this year. So I think I can pick several, um, which I watched this year. My first recommendation would be The Boys. At the moment, I am reading the second graphic novel. Uh, there are six of these in all. And um, I would certainly recommend The Boys. I think that the adaptation is better than the graphic novels. And that is not something I say lightly. Then there is also... The Sandman by Neil Gaiman, which I think is being adapted very well too. And finally, I would also recommend Alice in Borderland, um, which is adapted from the manga. And once again, I think the live action show is better than the manga, which isn't something I say lightly. In fact, I think it is brilliant that there are these amazing adaptations um, inspired from brilliant concepts, like the ones we would have read about prior. Um, prior to, to watching them, I suppose. Uh, next is the favorite post you've written this year. So as you know, I have been uploading content every day for the past 10 months now, I believe, 9 to 10 months. One of my favorite videos has to be the one where I asked people to leave a comment uh, letting me know which country they are from, so that I could have a comment from every country in the world to see who is watching my channel, that sort of thing. I think that was a very brilliant idea. And then I also love making video reviews of the books I read. So yeah, I mean, my favorite post would certainly have to be the comments from every country video. I think it's a very innovative idea. And um, make sure to check that out if you haven't already and leave a comment. Uh, most beautiful book you bought this year. Um, I bought many books this year, but one of the most beautiful ones I think I received as a gift from my dad rather than bought myself is this one called Butter by Asako Yuzuki. I think it's a very unique cover, and um, I think it's very beautiful as well. Um, so this is probably the best book I received this year. And in terms of uh, concept of the book, I am enjoying it as well so far. And finally, question 15, we have what books do you really need to read by the end of the year? So as you know from, the, from two videos ago, I believe, um, I am planning on finishing The Sandman series by Neil Gaiman. I have quite a few graphic novels left to finish, so at the moment I am reading the third one called Dream Country, 
Uh, next, I want to finish the Mistborn trilogy and anything by Brandon Sanderson I can get my hands on. And finally, this is an, more of a recent edition. I want to finish the Spiderwick Chronicles. Uh, there are five books in the series and I want to read them all. So at the moment, I am reading the second one and I am very soon done with that. So stay tuned for all the reviews. Anyway, that is all from me for the Mid-Year Book Freakout Challenge for 2024. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to participate in this challenge, you are all officially tagged by BookNerd802. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, check out the rest of my content, and let me know what you think of the channel in the comment section below, because I reply to everybody. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one, hopefully very, very soon. This I had to record twice, by the way, because Way Video wouldn't work properly the first time, so hopefully I didn't miss out on anything from the first time I recorded this video. That is just the effort I am putting into the channel, so I hope you appreciate that. Okay, bye guys.